Good morning, everyone. This is Jim again. Hey, I wanted to uh, make this video because part of the, the gist of what I'm doing with these videos is uh, trying to pass along information on how you can make more money. And on the flip side of making more money is actually saving money. So um, I'm at a point in my life where I'm 62 years old and uh, I made a video a few days ago about and I mentioned the fact that I in my lifetime I've spent a one hundred thousand dollars on beer and uh, I wanted to revisit that because it's a it's pretty an outstanding number it's an outlandish number and uh, you know we've all drank our beer but what has happened I, I did the math on it um, in in November of 2019 I started to feel poorly and I kind of just went through a list of things in my mind. And um, what I ended up doing, I was feeling so poorly that I actually quit drinking beer after 44 years. And um, I'm happy to report to you that I do feel, you know, tons better. Tons better. It's great for me personally to, uh, you know, not have that bloaty feeling and then wake up clear-headed every single morning. I'm actually enjoying it very much. And I am not making any kind of judgments on anybody else. I'm just talking about myself and uh, my experience with it. So, you know, you do whatever you want to do. You do whatever you need to do or whatever you think you need to do. But I'm just passing on some uh, wisdom. I think it's wisdom in the years that I've accumulated through the years. In my life, uh, at the end of my day, you know, I'd buy, I'd buy, it was nothing to just go buy beer and uh, drink it with my meal and in my lifetime I, I I consider the fact that I've worked pretty hard and that little thing of drinking a beer with my meal was my mental payoff it was uh, the thing is uh, I'd always say to myself man keep working hard get work 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 and then at the end of the day have yourself a nice meal with a couple beers, you know, a meal with a couple pizzas and a couple beers. Uh, go to Applebee's, get something nice, and drink a couple Brutuses, you know, that kind of thing. And I did that for years and years and years. Now I've come up with a number. And here's the math on it: um, forty-four years times three hundred sixty-five days, about six bucks a day, is ninety-six thousand dollars. And I know I've spent more than that. This is actually a conservative number. And the reason I know I spent more than that is because uh, I've been on the road for, I've been out doing projects for 33 years. And for a lot of those years, I would uh, have a crew with me, uh, three, four, two guys, three guys, four guys, five guys. And uh, my thinking is at the end of our day, when we got done with our day, you know, I, I bought myself some beer and it would be as uh, it was in my mind as an employer and a host that I bought beer for the fellas. Now, that ninety six thousand dollar number is just for me. It's quite stunning to think that I, 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 me have uh, drank one hundred thousand dollars worth of beer and uh, it's not I'm not proud of it. I wish things were different, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm only passing this along to you because, you know, when I was younger, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would be 60, you know, 62 years old. And when, when you have 60 years, I mean, like you have a large swath of time that you can look back over and say, hmm, this, hmm, that, hmm, this. And, you know, you reassess the things that you've done and that, you know, the decisions you've made. And, uh, you know, would my life have been different without beer? I would think it would have been uh, tremendously different. Um, not only the money factor, but I, I feel like I would have been a better person. I'm just talking about me. Not No judgments or anything about you or anybody else got to play with the dog a little bit here and uh you know i know i would have been a better person 
I know I would have been a better father. I know I would have been a better uh, husband. And uh, I know I would have been a better employee. It, it, it affected all facets of my life. It, you know, as you're living through it, you know, you, there is an element of denial. You know, you think you're fine. You think you can do it all. You think you can just keep on going. And um, that's something you, you got to decide yourself. But uh, looking back over 44 years with some remorse, you know, a different perspective. And I, I am enjoying so much waking up every morning clear-headed. It's uh, pretty pretty darn nice when I don't have to go through, you know, two or three hours in the morning of fuzziness. You know, and, you know maybe five hours, you know. Who, you know, it's just terrible. But anyways, um, I, it is a, a stunning number. $96,000, okay? Now, I do, I, I will also mention to you that uh, in 2005, I I started a retirement account, okay? And in 2005, I put $500 in it, okay? I made one contribution, and so uh, 2005 is 15 years later, there is still $500 in that account. And it bo almost boggles my mind that if I didn't drink beer, I would have $96,000 to play with, okay? Now, I am 62, and I'm starting to think about thoughts of retirement, okay? And I have $500 in my IRA, so I'm not in a great position Again, I'm not making any kind of judgments towards you or anybody else, any of your friends. You guys go do what you want to do. I'm just passing along some information. Now, I used to drink this. And what I've done, this is my new substitute. I drink Fago sparkling water, carbonated water. And uh, for some reason, I cannot tell you why. But when I drink this, it tastes just like beer to me. It, it honestly does. It, that's just me. I'm just talking about myself. And um, if you think about it, beer is like, uh, I think it's like 95 or 96% water. It's 3% alcohol. Oh, Bud Light, I think it's 4.6 alcohol. But uh, it's essentially water with some alcohol and some flavorings. And then uh, the carbonation. Now, what I get out of this, I get the water, the carbonation, and there's a, a little twinge of flavor in this, okay? And for some reason, that does it for me, this right here. Now, I will tell you that in my, this is my experience, if I drink two of these per day or, or three of them, I do not have any room for beer. I mean, let's, this hydrates me so much that I could not even drink a beer if I wanted to, if I drink two or three of these things. Now, the other thing I do buy, I do buy this item right here, Rockstar. It's part of my morning. Um, it's become part of my day. And I do enjoy this. So these are the things right here. But here, I, this is what will blow your mind. It blows my mind that I've done $96,000. Okay. Now, what this is, is 40 or 365 days times six bucks happens to be $2,190. So that means every year I spent $2,190 on beer on a minimum. Okay. Now, I have made this chart up and this kind of staggering. Now, going back 44 years, year one. I spent $2,190. Now, if I would have taken that amount of money and I would have put it in some kind of investment, year two, add another $2,190 to year two, plus the interest of 10%. Now, the thing about the, the stock market is, you know, everybody talks about that. But the stock market, if you invest... And if you get a 10% return per annum, annual, or 11%, or 12%, if you get a 10, 11, or 12% return in the stock market, you are killing it. 
they're you know they're I'm not talking about the spectacular stocks like Yahoo, Amazon, you know, et cetera. I'm talking about the everyday blue collar chips that like General Motors, Coca Cola, you know, these companies that's been around forever. They're safe investments. And if you can get a ten percent, eleven percent return per year on on your stock market, you're doing great. So what I've done here, year one. Let's in theory, this is theory only. I did not do this. 2190 into some kind of savings or investment. Year two, add another 2190 plus the $219, 10% return on year one. That gives me 4599. Year three, I add another 2190 plus 10% gain in. in that my investment, four hundred and fifty nine dollars. So you take twenty one ninety year one, twenty one ninety year two, plus the return ten percent, plus the ten percent year three. I've got seventy two hundred dollars and thirty seven thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars. You see year four, year five, year six, year seven. It just goes on and on. So in theory, what I'm doing is every year I'm adding the twenty one ninety plus the 10% return, and you can see the numbers grow. Five, year 5, 13,000. Year 10, 34,000. Year 13, 53,000. And this is me just adding $2,190 per year to some kind of investment vehicle. And um, that's an easy amount to add every single year, $2,000 you know five bucks a day six bucks a day so year 14 you see it's sixty thousand. it adds up quite quickly and here in year 19 i underscored this because it was it's where the first year year 19 where i had uh, ten thousand dollars in interest return so it was a year the previous year year was ninety nine thousand. I added took ninety nine thousand, added twenty one ninety, plus the nine thousand nine hundred interest. I had a my it went up eleven twelve thousand dollars that year. So it just keeps going. There's your twenty, and you can do this all this math yourself at home. The math does not lie. You know it's the same numbers. You can do it yourself. Um, I highlighted year thirty four because that's the year that that this investment would have been at uh, a half a million dollars. Uh, 34 years and then you can see year 39 it's up to 869,000 and then year 41 and it's, it crosses the 1 million dollar mark so all this is is after 40 years you're adding $2,190 every single year plus the 10% gain but it's compounded over the years for year 42, I mean, year 41 it passed a million bucks. Year 42, year 43, and then here we are in year 2019. That's the, the year I actually quit drinking beer. This this particular bottle I picked up at the brewery about three days ago. It was, uh, this bottle was, uh, I was in St. Louis, Missouri. That's the headquarters of Budweiser, and uh, we had a couple hours to kill. And so we stopped at the brewery because it's a free tour. And they gave me this bottle at the brewery. And we were there at like uh, noon, noon on Thursday, about four days ago. And they said that this particular bottle came off the production line at between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the morning. So i did drink that and i didn't enjoy it very much it was great it tasted great you know that fresh beer thing so anyways um going back to this year 44 this would have been 2019 the year i quit if i had made a different choice many many years ago and i'm only talking about myself i would have not been spending 2000 one hundred and ninety dollars a year on beer right off the bat with no investment i would have had a hundred or ninety six thousand dollars in the bank 
But remember, this is just me drinking. This is not me buying beer for the guys, okay? Three, two and three, four guys a night. You know, this is a very crazily conservative number. It's If I started to try to think about what I've bought beer for other folks, I you know, I don't know. But anyways, 44 years, $96,000 that was not spent in theory, in theory, turns into $1.3 million. Okay, now I did mention that I did mention that I'm 62 and I do feel pretty good. I feel great. I feel like I can work another five years easily. I I hope so. But anyways, I do have this like little flutter of a thought whispering around in my brain about, hey man, something's, you, you can't do this forever. You're going to have to retire someday. And uh, there's not $1.3 million in my investment account, in my investment account, because I drank it. I drank it up. So just food for thought. No judgment on, on anybody else. I'm just telling you my little story. And the thing about it is I actually talked to, when I was in St. Louis, I talked to uh, Josh. I asked him, I said, hey, you know, is, uh, do you have a friend that, you know, I spent a hundred thousand dollars and I said, you, can you think of anybody that, you know, that spent a hundred thousand dollars on beer in their lifetime? And he says, Oh yeah. He, he said, definitely. I can just easily right off the bat. I can come up with somebody. And I said, you know, it's the thing about it is it's a staggering amount of money for me, like a hundred thousand dollars. And, um, I'm sure the person that you're talking about, Josh, is it's a staggering amount of money to that person. But um, that person and me is just one little tiny, tiny cog in this giant Anheuser-Busch beer wheel that keeps turning every single day and is picking up people every, as it rolls forward. Every single day it picks up new people. And I, I'm just one little crazy little dot on the big giant beer brewery wheel. Can you imagine all the people out there that gets picked up every day? So it's kind of like it's with if you're 20, if you're 30, <coughs> you can make a decision that will drastically change your life. It's kind of like red pill, blue pill, red pill, blue pill. Little simple little decision in your mind, and at that time when you're 20 and 30, it doesn't seem to have that much consequence or weight. But me being 62, looking back over 44 years, you know, I'm going, wow, what a crazy thing! What a crazy thing I did, you know. So it's remorse on my part, so I'm regret. I'm not proud of it. And like I said, I'm just putting this out there because the, the gist of my channel is that uh, either help you make more money, and like I say, the flip side of making more money is saving money, doing more with your money, and making, you know, giving you more opportunities. Maybe you can learn from some of the things I know or some of the mistakes I've made. And, you know, in my life, I ex I've made my, I've made my share. So hope this helps. Every day is a good day to make money. I hope you're well, and I will talk to you later.